doing right now is putting the internal power in. This consists of a 3.7 volt, 350 milliamp lithium battery. You can purchase these through GM Props who make the electronic circuit board. The one I have actually comes with a charging port already attached, so if I want to uh, charge it up I just plug into there. And you can also buy wall socket charger that uses a USB cable down into the socket that plugs into there. These are all from GM Props. Now I've already started this job, so I've wired the negative from the battery, the black wire from the battery, to the single black wire I had left over coming from the main reed switch. And I'm just about to attach the positive wire from the battery to the three positive wires I've joined together. Uh, again, the way I do this is I position the wire and I basically twist them together. I will be soldering once I've done this, you don't have to solder. I will be soldering and I will be covering in heat shrink. Now, if you don't have solder, it's fine, it doesn't matter. If you don't have heat shrink, it doesn't matter, but you do need to isolate the wires to make sure they don't short anywhere. So some electrical tape wrapped around there now would work perfectly fine. I'm just going to join these up with a bit of solder. There we go. Pop it on over. And I always go beyond where I've soldered because it gives these wires a bit of support. I don't like putting too much on so I can fold over to make a nice seal. They're all the reds together. I'll do the same now for the blacks. That is that. Now, hot glue, just to hold that in place. That's it. And this one can go over there, just to keep it out of the way. Since we have the speaker, so I'll just put it there. A bit of hot glue. Put a bit of hot glue on here. So, and just push that down, just to hold it in place. Now, it should work. Almost finished, not quite. <laughs> so, the back, as you know, has got this big indent in it for the medical scanner to go in. That's why it's quite important to leave this section here as free as you can. Then it will just slot into place. And these projects always seem to take a lot of time preparing a lot of time getting into it and then all of a sudden bang they're finished so as far as the build's concerned this is now finished working i'm happy with it i need to do a little bit of tidying up but basically it's all there what i now have to do is build the scanner and that will be in a separate video so here's my finished uh, Stapleton Productions medical tricorder with a GM Props electronics upgrade kit in it.
Now this one has a scanner. This is not the scanner that came with the kit, this is a different one that I've got. I haven't built the scanner for the kit yet, so I'm using this as an example. This one has actually got sound, whereas the one from the kit has only got lights.